Hi guys, it's Borix and hello. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. So today guys is vlogging day four. This is for my second channel. Um guys look, look how bright it almost is too bright behind me because this is the middle of the day. It's like ten quarter to eleven. Hold on guys, let me think it's even that guys, it's a quarter to twelve. <laughs> no, it's like it's like it's like, it's a few minutes before 12, and I can't believe it, on a Saturday. On a sa uh, it's not Saturday, guys. I don't know anymore. I think it's Friday. I don't even know anymore, guys. So, yes, it's it's Friday. So, guys, anyway, I want to tell a story time that happened. I won't be sharing this on my main channel, so subscribe to me on one channel, not the other. Because this is the thing, it's so, like, bright in here. Let me see if I can, sorry, guys, turn down some of this brightness, because now it's so bright. Okay. Now it's like, I don't know if it's not bright enough to see me, guys. I don't think I'm going to keep this light on. So, guys, today's video is going to be a story time from Halloween. I want to tell you guys about a Halloween when I was a kid. And it's not a good one. Well, I don't even know why I'm even telling it, but since it's Halloween, I figured I would. Guys, uh, this story doesn't bring me pleasure. When I was... 12 years old, my mom didn't feel good. Sorry, guys, my room is in a disarray because something totally wacky happened, but, um, my mom didn't feel good. I really heard that my mom just hated Halloween and she didn't want me to go trick-or-treating, so she's like, oh, I don't feel good, I don't feel good, my legs, legs were blown up, you guys. And I was ready, I was stressed, which is typical, and then I'm being told I'm not allowed to go trick-or-treating, which honestly would happen almost every year. Oh, no, 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 so anyway, guys, so my cousin called. We called, called Aunt Kyle. You guys talk about. I talked to Aunt, Aunt Colleen on this channel before when she went home to God. And when I think I said about her when my dad got sick, I thought she missed him enough that she was going to ask God to call him because she missed him so much. But that was my nice way of putting it when my dad was sick. So anyway, guys, Aunt Kyle comes and says to my mom, which, you know, she's my cousin not normally, but she's old enough to be my, my aunt. That's why I call her aunt. And she's like, I thought my wife my mom, I don't know if my mom's doing on the internet. And she said, is she ready to go? And my mom's like, yes, Kyle, she's dressed, she's ready to go. She could shower even to dress up as a vampire. So then I, I'm going to come get her. <laughs> I guess I'm going to so I'm gonna come get her. So we sure she did. She came to her house, and my mom drove us up to where my uncle lives. So we all go trick or treat with my cousins. I guess in another video, guys, we had money more than my cousins, but for some ridiculous reason, Chose to live in a really bad neighborhood when they all got to live in a half decent neighborhood. When I grew up in the worst conditions, you could think of me and Derek. And I don't even want to say here, I don't want to bring Derek into it without because I don't want to embarrass Derek. Um, my brother, I should name my child. Um, I cover name for my brother. <laughs> I'll give out his real name because he's he's in his thirties and his his family as well. So anyway, guys, um, Derek didn't want to go with me because um, Derek hated Halloween. He was like seventeen. Which is understandable. I still want the sugar treat. Well, anyway, guys, we get to the fam. We get to with the family, right? Halloween goes smooth. I'm dressed up as the little vampire, you know, from the children's movie, The Little Vampire. I'm dressed up as girl Rudolph. Typical. Rudolph was my favorite character, and so was Gregory. Probably ought to be Gregory. It would have made more sense. But anyway, guys, Halloween went smooth. I got candy. I had fun with my cousins. We didn't hate each other yet. We weren't. We, we were rivaling because you know that's what the family promoted, but they didn't promote it too badly. Guys, this is domestic violence. So I want you guys. So anyway, my mom loves her Pepsi. If you guys, you guys wouldn't know most of you guys. You guys don't know me in real life. My mom was a Pepsi addict. This woman could drink a whole bunch of Pepsi and still need more of it. So it was Halloween. And it was coming down. There wasn't many trick or treaters. It was starting to really call it a night. So we decided we're going to go to the corner store and get some Pepsi. Well, guys, I'm, I know I, I should say this, too. I'm legally blind. If you guys are into my channel, I'm almost legally blind. Then my mom was on crutches. She she was in a wheelchair. So, guys, one of my parents was in a wheelchair, and the other one has a walker. Kind of, like, make things understandable. My dad was it, Guys, my dad, I don't remember him being there, but dad said he was there. But I have no memory, guys. Most of this night, I blanked out from being sick and being frightened. Here I am walking around, and we gotta go to the store, and this guy jumps out of nowhere. I didn't even know who, he, who the heck he was. Guys, spoiler alert, domestic violence. It was my uncle. <laughs> and he came out of nowhere. This is aggravated Derek, by the way. And he starts yelling, starts, and, sorry, guys, I'm swearing at my mother. Because she married an old fart. Like I've said on more than one video, sorry, guys, I'm out of frame. But 
it's hard when I have my hands sore today. I'm cleaning clothes today, guys. Anyway, that um, all my mom did was marry that old, disgusting fart, Rupert, and she took Rupert's money. She takes advantage of Rupert and all this other. Me, me and my father, by the way, if you're new to my channel. <clears throat> I'm like, what? And like, all you did was take Rupert's money. You use Rupert, you abuse him, and you use him. And I don't know why he married you, you scum. White trash, dot, dot, dot. Or they can't say on YouTube. Or I will get monetized, I will get demonetized. And I'm like, my mom's like, Tim, what what are you talking about? And this is her brother. Well, I don't know who the heck Tim is. Guys, I grew up away from some of my mom's family, so I didn't even know if this was my uncle. And one time I see him, I thought he was trying to kidnap me. I knew who that was my uncle. And I'm like, what? And I run, because this guy grabbed my mother. And then the worst thing, all is his friends joined him. And they're, like, taunting my mother. Now, guys, think of it. I'm 12. I'm special. I'm, like, different than your average person. So I don't know if this guy's going to rape my mother. I don't know if he's going to kill my mother. But what I know is I got afraid, and I ran out in front of a car, and almost got hit by a car, head-on collision almost. So I had to go away from the scary man tracking my mother. I had to go back to my aunts and let them know. So, guys, in my family, we grew up with my mom's sister, my my aunt's best friend, who we also found, we also call her aunt, they the same name, and her, her partner was her wife, basically. And <clears throat> and we went to their house to do, I think we were at my aunt, we were flocking to which aunt's house we were at. So anyway, I found my aunt's, and I told them what happened, I'm probably crying, I'm shaking. And, and my aunt's like, honey, what's going on? Because my two aunts, the one that's biological to me was in the kitchen. She was in the house, I was outside. And my aunts know that I am disabled, if you guys are new to my channel. Anyway, so I seen this big, fat guy. I mean, four of them jumped my mother. Now, mind you guys, I'm 12, and I'm, like, special needs. So I don't understand what's going on. I am almost autistic, sort of. I have dyslexia. I am I'm disabled in my left hand and wrist, so I'm running for my life. I hid behind a car while this was happening like a coward. Instead of punching him in the face... Like a warrior. Anyway, I was 12. And I started freaking out. Call Derek. Call Derek. And they were like, what the? What? My dad said he was going to have no memory. I said, get daddy. Get, get papa. Get papa. So anyway, this, this, this creep comes with my mother and says, you're a ghetto woman. Go back to the ghetto where you belong. You you and your old fart husband. You take advantage of that Rupert. And my mom's like, I'm from around the corner here. And my husband is from the next thing I put over. I don't want to give away the address because that's actually where we currently still live. My mom was like screaming, Roper, 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 go get him. And my poor father is nowhere in town, but he, my mom didn't want this son to, to not know my father wasn't around. And my mom said, Roper. And he was like, what? And I was like, oh, you have a husband? And guys, a good Samaritan came by and heard my mom screaming, Bird, bird, on top of her lungs, like trying to get my father. She's like, Pert, 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 trying to get my father's attention. And he's just like, and when the family calls my dad Pert, so nobody like really calls him by his full name. And the guy comes up and says, Ma'am, are, are you okay? And she's like, Can you please go get my husband and my daughter? So I have a special needs daughter. She ta I take seizures too. I don't know if I said that. She takes seizures. She's disabled in her hand. She has like almost autism and dyslexia. He said, like, what, what do you mean? Is this my missing kid? My mom's going to report. He's like, look at like this missing little girl. Mom said, no. The guy and then the guy came over and slapped my mother dead in the face and spit on her in front of this guy. This guy like what well, the him. He tried to call an ambulance and like rescue because he didn't know if my mom was hit. He didn't know if he did something to her. And you can see my mom is physically disabled. He, he said, no, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Please don't call the police. He said, what? She was like, Tim, why would you do this? I'm your sister, Timothy. And the guy went, wait. wait. What? Wait, wait, what? She said, that's my brother. And he was like, your brother? Your brother treats you like this? He said, but where is that little girl? Mom's the last, sorry guys, the last I seen of my physically disabled daughter, but she ran. She dressed up as a vampire. I cannot find my daughter. So, I didn't know I was safely back with my aunts. My aunts? <laughs> I was safely back with my aunts, so I was fine. Now, my uncle wasn't there for some reason. And we all know that um, at the current time when this occurred, Uncle Dennis, which is not my uncle's real name, but we don't copy because of his issues, was not there. So if Uncle Dennis would have been there, he would have knocked the guy out. But he 
He was actually in the hospital at this time because he had cancer. If you guys don't know, my one of my uncles had cancer for most of my life. Actually, almost all my uncles have cancer. Had or had cancer. So my uncle was in the hospital. Sorry, guys. It's getting really, really dull. I can't see. My uncle had cancer, so he could not come help me. I uh, He was in the hospital. <laughs> my other uncle had died. The other one was too old to come fight my mom's battles. And things of that nature, guys. So it ended up, we tried to call the police. And we didn't. But guys, I will forever remember that son of a... Spinning in my mother's face and cursing at her. And it was a neighbor. The neighbor was doing more damage than he was. Guys, I'll tell you something. If I had a sister or I have siblings, we're just saying I have two brothers. But anyway, and my siblings, someone would be rude to them. I tell them to go to the town saying I would never encourage it. Encourage it. Now, this is why I think I really wasn't allowed to go trick or treating. Was that my uncle, his friend, hit my mother dead in the face. Mind you, right in front of me. Popped her in the face. Spit on her. Called her a ghetto girl, told her to go back to the ghettos. <laughs> People, I'm from the north. I don't even want to say what part of the city I'm from, but because that will that will narrow it down too much. I'm from an okay neighborhood. Like, it's okay now. It was really good back in the day. So I was only from one neighborhood over. So it was just a bizarre Halloween. I'm sorry. That's not the same one. Domestic violence warning. So, guys, I thank you guys all. I'm sorry this video seemed all over the place, guys. This is one of the most hated memories because it destroyed Halloween for me. Seeing a neighbor beat the crap out of my mother, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. And he took her crushes, too. My mom had a broken hip, by the way, guys. Her hip broke off. They had their surgery. Their surgery put screws on her hips, three screws, and one was backing out. My mom had to have both her knees operated off for gangrene because she almost had to have both her legs amputated at one point. My mother did not have a good life. She had surgeries, had surgeries, and her her brother's spearheading this. <laughs> like I, I don't understand. And my mom had multiple sclerosis. She was in a wheelchair at the desk, guys. No, just from the multiple sclerosis. So one of my parents was in a wheelchair, and one uses a walker. So like going after handicapped people, and it's just so sad because my dad still feels really about this. He still gets tears in his eyes when he talks about this. Thanks guys, that he couldn't he couldn't help his wife. And he said I couldn't help Shelby in his eyes except to help the tears and all. It's heartbreaking, but yeah, my father's elderly. No one ever make fun of me over it. Okay guys, I'm sorry this video is all over the place. I'm gonna comment, like, share. Let well, me not share this one, but you know whatever. We have another comment. YouTube might turn it off. Comment, like, share, subscribe on my usual videos. And I'm sorry I had to put such a sad video for today, but it, it is what it is. Guys, I want to get out my truth because it's been bothering me since I was 12. I'm 32. It's been for 20 years. I love you all. Bye, guys.